Hello YouTube, this is a Ham Radio Reviews doing another unboxing, this time uh, it's the TYT DMR Radio uh, this is the, the MD398 model um, I think uh, by the, uh, the time at the time I'm uh, filming this it's not uh, yet available uh, for sale but I think it's going to be uh, sold uh, it's going to be available soon uh, it is a GPS model uh, here is the box nice white uh, box uh, from TYT um, people online say that uh, this is uh, the model that the uh, radio radio GD 55 model was based on not sure about that, uh, they certainly look a lot alike on the outside. Of course, that uh, the um, radio model is advertised as a 10 watt um, radio, while this is advertised as a 5 watt. But we'll put everything to the test and see what's going on. Okay, let's check here what's going on. Uh, let's focus here, okay. 398 DMR diesel receiver. Uh, yeah, all the certifications here. Function, functions and uh, digital mode combined complying with Moto Turbo Tire 1 and 2 uh, it supports Tire Tier 1 and 2 not sure how that uh, will work but uh, well, we can test this complying with digital protocol ETSI I need to check which protocol is this one is it Tier 1 or 2 update the software available for new features Private call, group call, everything, all the user, remote kill stun, activate. 10 watt, okay. This is weird. Uh, the brochure uh, that was published online by TYT it was advertising uh, it as a 5 watt. This right now says it's a 10 watt, ultra high out of power. This is really nice if it's actually 10 watt radio. Uh, text message in digital mode, okay, enhanced encryption function, up to 1000 channels, emergency alarm function, IP67 waterproofing, that's really nice, and GPS, this is the GPS model, excellent, let's see here, functions and specifications, okay, 0.35 microvolts, uh, Analog sensibility, sensitivity. I think doesn't sound that sensitive, but we'll see. Digital sen sensitivity. It's a bit more sensitive on digital. Okay. Frequency range. This is the UHF model. Okay. Audio power output. One watt. Battery type. Polymer lithium ion. Polymer lithium ion is. Maybe this is a lipo battery. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the radiodity model. Uh, also, they advertise a lipo battery. So maybe. Uh, okay. Function output power high ten, low four watts. Again, why? Why don't you just put make the four watt medium and uh, add. Yeah, I have three settings high 10 watts, medium 4 watts, and low 1 watt. Okay, it doesn't matter for FSK digital mode. Data only, data plus voice, digital protocol 1, 2, 3. Here, vocoder type. Okay, here, DMR uh, TYT electronics. Okay, made in China. The usual stuff. Okay. Now let's see what we have inside the box. Nice packaging. Here's the radio. Okay, this this thing is heavy. Let's see. Yeah. This thing is nice and solid actually. And have it's heavier than the TYT UV 8000E, which I have uh, right here. Oh, it's also taller. 
if you see here it's also taller okay yeah it's a big radio I expected it to be a bit smaller nice big knobs here buttons focus here PTT two side keys here I don't know what this little it is rubbery two side keys I suppose they are programmable or, or at least I hope they are programmable okay nice keypad very nice keypad uh, zero on the side the other TYT radios on the other TYT radios not sure about the DMR models of course zero is on the, at the bottom but that's okay okay and the battery okay nice lots here let's see what's going on battery is 2800 million powers 7.4 volts air pressure adjusting hole here if you can see that yeah because it's sealed tight GPS not some uh, Okay, 10 watts, yeah, it is 10 watts. The electronics air pressure here, nice seal around. Uh, the battery contacts here. On the battery though, oh yeah, here it is. Let me, okay, if you see here, there is a, a gasket here. So this, I suppose, uh, um, is why it is IP67 certified there's nothing else here that would seal the battery is what seals um, the, the back of the radio okay let's put that back here like that I suppose we should do this yeah okay nice we'll turn that in a few minutes let's see what else is in the box here, let's put that right here. Okay. Now, an empty bag. Not sure what was in here. The TYT verification card. We got used to these. Okay, this is the manual. Um, and to remote one driver, GPS optional. Yeah, this is pretty standard. I think uh, uh, it looks pretty decent and better than uh, Balfang manuals, I believe. External headset, stop external headset. Antennas, what? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a thin manual, it's not very thick. But we'll see. The BV1000E manual I have here. It's thicker, if you can see here. This is the MD398. This is the TYT UV 800 but okay. Uh, now let's see what else we have here. This is uh, the IP uh, protection uh, certification. The numbers, what they mean. Okay, nice to did have GPS operating instructions in English and probably Chinese. Uh, get GPS info by pressing PTT key. Okay, we'll dive into this later on the next video. Okay, this is the belt clip. Nice and big belt clip. I like that. Here is um, the wall charger. You see the output here. Everything is more. There's more quality with this stuff. Even the bugs 
are uh, seem to be heavy duty than other radios from TYT. Okay, this is the charger. Output 12.5 volts. Not sure if you can see that in the but it doesn't say the amperage, the current 12.5 volts. Okay, we'll see. We'll measure it. Okay, this is the um, programming cable. Uh, this is uh, extra, it doesn't come with the radio. I've ordered the programming cable. If you see here, it's not the, the typical Kenwood uh, cable. There are three pins. Let's see how this works later. Okay, that's the cable. Now we have the cradle, the charging cradle here. Okay, and let's see what goes on here. Input 12.5 volts. Probably the USB cable that charges, uh, we can charge the Baofeng and the other TWT. Uh, it's probably not usable with this, with this one, but we'll see. Output. Oh, yeah, it's input 12.5, output 8.4. Maybe it is usable, I don't know, different cradle. It's like this here. Okay. Let's see about that. And we have two antennas. This is the short one, doesn't matter. Here we have the longer antenna. This antenna, let me check something here. Yeah, this is a UHF antenna, although it looks, it's marked as UHF, but it looks very similar to the long antenna that came with a UV-8000E. Let's see, if you see here, they are the, practically the same, but we'll see. Anyway, okay. okay, thank you very much for watching, like and share this video if you found it useful and stay tuned for the menu walkthrough of uh, the radio. 73 for now.